still passing through If heaven's not my home Then hell will have to do The angels beckon me From this dark and eerie door And I can't feel at home In this world anymore Run away I might just run away I might just leave it all behind And find another On time again. George should be happy. Always a good way to start the day. By not making George annoyed with me. Yeah, I'm on time. 7 a.m. And what a morning. What a morning it is. Now let's pull up over here. Where's his truck gone? Oh, I know where he'll be. He's gonna be down at the bottom, isn't he? I'll tell you what, when George sets his mind to something. He doesn't half get it right. I'll give him credit for that. Uh, let's take a shortcut through here. Let me quickly just look over here. I think that was a good place to put that. Just wanted to quickly check because when we bought the liquid fertilizer, I thought I can bring the fertilizer and the herbicide out here. That should be fine. But uh, and I, we already had the lime out here, but it's kind of a good spot for a fertilizer. But I have got big bags of fertilizer in here and I know George said not to bring them outside with the seeds because any moisture on them and that's it. And I do agree with him. He's spot on. But I bet you anybody's out here. He has been working his socks off in all fairness to him. He had an idea and he went with it. All right there, George. Way up his ear, his ear. Ooh, bloody date night. <laughs> oh, God. Is this what it's going to be like all day? Well, bloody date night, innit? Innit? Hey, hey, I tell you, I'll be there. What do you mean you'll be there? No, not bloody with you. I mean, I'll be there. I'll be there for support you. Bloody hell, George, you scared me then. I thought you ain't coming with me, no chance. No, bloody hell, I don't want to come with you. You two are bloody boring, as far as I'm concerned. But, yep, bloody date night, eh? <laughs> I'm not talking to you about it. Where are you going? Well, if you're going to carry on, I'm just going to go and do stuff. What about do stuff? you got no do. Do you know what? I think you might be right. I haven't really got much do, have I? Well, uh, date night it is, eh? Hey, come take a seat. I'll tell you what, I'll give you some support now. I'll tell you, tell you what you need to do. George, I am not taking advice from you. No chance. No offence. Like, I've told you, I'm like a bloody guru I am. I can help you out. I don't need your advice. I'm just going to go on a date, that's it. It's just it's nothing... You know, it's nothing crazy. It doesn't need to be overcomplicated or overthought. I'm just going to go on a date. Well, right then. Well, don't mess it up. <laughs> I aren't going to. <laughs> I hope not, anyway. Well, you've got a tendency to just mess things up, on you? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, just think, you know. I mean, how long's it taking you, ask her out? Doesn't kind of build me with confidence, does it? Bloody hell fire. <laughs> Listen, I'm not talking about this, right? Just... Let me do me thing. All right then, all right then. Ooh, date night. George, bloody hell, fire. <laughs> Why you stop that? All right, all right then, all right then. Oi, let me smell your breath. What are you bloody on about? Smell me breath. You can sod off. You don't need to smell my breath. Well, I just want to make sure, you know, last thing you want to do is, you know, scare her off. Jesus, George. I've First things first, right? I've got to go home, get changed and get ready before this even, before I even do go pick her up. But I am not having you smell my bloody breath. You're getting weirder by the day you are, George. <laughs> well, trust me, when you've had a brew, everyone knows. Oh my God. Anyway, back to business. How are you getting on? Well, you can bloody see with your eyes. I'm doing a cracking job. You are, George. You actually are. It's a good idea, really. I didn't really see it when you said it to me. Now you've taken the hedge out, I get what you're saying. Ah, ah, and have you noticed since I've come outside, all that bloody mud's dried up? <laughs> it has, you're right, but how the hell are you taking credit for that? Seriously. Well, just that bloody good, aren't I? All right then, let's... I didn't even know what to say to that one, George, yes. 
It's because you're out out and about, you've set your mind to something, you've got some work done, and, yeah, the ground decided to harden up. I don't know what else you want me to say to that. Well, I'm just saying everything seems to work out when I'm out and about, but when you're out and about, well, let's be honest, it all goes <laughs> Yeah, all right, <laughs> right. What do you want me to do today? Because I need to go see Ross, and I want you to give me a lift. Are you bloody off your head? Why do I need to give you a lift up there? You've got no hope. No hope in hell. Come on, George, I I'd help you out. Why do you need me to give you a lift? I need to go pick up that Leyland. He rang me and said it's ready. Bloody old fire, can't you get the bloody bus? George, what kind of bus goes up there? Well, I don't know, do I? Bloody bus services when you need them, the bloody shocking, aren't they? Well, that's it then, it's the bus driver's fault. You're gonna figure it out. No, George, come on, give me a lift. Come on, I I'd do that for you. Bloody hell, all right then, I will. When do you want to go? Well, it depends on what you want me to do first. Right, well, because I'm so kind, I've made sure everything's all right with the animals, I've taken all the dirty jobs away from you. I don't want it to be my fault you go pick up that last later on and you stink, so any of the jobs that would have got you a bit filthy today... You don't have to worry about. <laughs> All right then, George. I appreciate that. Thank you. You've finally done some mucking out. Uh, f ugh, right, well, I regret doing it now. No, I mean it. I I'm grateful for that. I really am. Right, well, there you go. So, I decided, looking around this yard today and, and yesterday, we got too many bales. Too many bales? Maybe hay bales, but silage, I don't know. Well, we have. We've been planning since bloody Carmston for all these cows. We've only just got them, right? We've got too much bales. We're going to be doing hay soon. We've got three grass fields. One the, one the cows are grazing in. The other one's ready mow. If not, we're going a bit over where I'd like to. And the other one's about there. And as soon as that's ready, we're going to be making some of it. Even if that's silage or hay, we haven't figured it out yet. And we've got loads of hay bales and loads of silage bales. Why not make a bit of money from them? All right, then. So what do you want me to do? Right, well... I want you to go take off them silage bales, sell them. I want you to take a full trail load of hay bales and sell them. Okay, I can do that. Well, okay, and when I'm done, take me up Ross's. Let me pick up this Leyland. I want to have a look at a mower as well. Are you still on about that bloody mower? Bloody hell, fire. Mm, fair play. Yeah, well, I do. I want to do it, George. Side, It's a side hustle. What the bloody hell's a side hustle? It's just a job outside of this job. Why don't you just say that then? Why'd you have to complicate it with all your bloody slang terms and all that nonsense? <laughs> alright then. <laughs> Listen, you get it now. You understand what I meant, so just don't. You're complicating it. Well, bloody not. Side hustle, never heard of it in my life. Well, it sounds like you're trying to rob a bloody bank. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. Right, so I'll go sort the bales out. You're gonna have to tell me where you want me to sell them. Well, all right, then. I'll have a quick look. I'll phone around and find out the best place. All right, then. You might have to go two different places. If we can get one price for silage and one price for hay. Yeah, that's fine. You just tell me and I'll and I'll sort it. I can get them loading up while you're figuring that out. Well, all right, then. It's about time I had a brew break anyway. Yeah, all right, then. All right, then. Let me know, and then we're up to Ross's, yeah? All right, then. Bloody hell, fire. Then I'm going to go home and get ready. Ah, for your bloody date night. Ooh, date night. Ooh, date night. Date night. Bloody hell fire. Oh, my God. Right, let's go this way and get set up and just get away from him. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, he is right, though, about them hay bales. We have got quite a few. We are going to make a lot. So these are getting... Some of these are getting, like... Probably like a year and a half old, so we need to get... Yeah, it makes sense. Let's shift and make a bit of cash. So I think we'll do the hay first. We'll load them up, get the trailer, get the load all. And, uh, yeah, that should be good. I think I did put the trailer out here. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what we'll do. We haven't used the vent in a while. Let's get that hooked up. Maybe we should be all right here. He does bring up a good point, though. Which is, what are we going to do? Are we going to do silage? Are we putting it in the bunker? Don't we need to bring in some contractors for that? I'm sure that was the plan. Has he sorted out that out yet? Does he Does he know? Because at the moment, it sounds like he hasn't got a clue what he wants to do. So, that is a bit worrying. Right, let's just make some space for himself. 
lower that down. Hoping that'll be alright. It's a big mower. Yeah, just about. But yeah, we're going to have to figure out if we're doing hay or silage. I mean, we've done a bit of hay, but they were the small bales. Definitely need to figure it out. Oh, come on, duck. Don't start getting all crazy on me now. I am a bit nervous for later on, though, I will be honest. It's been a long time, a long time since I've done anything. I want to go on a date. I think I've got a good plan, though. I'm hoping so. Right, so, hay bales. We're going to have to get load all first. So, I will leave some space here. We'll go get that. Save's going a long way around. There we go. Arch out, ducks. Come on. Yeah, we'll back the trailer up just to the door of the shed. Then we'll load them up about here. That's probably the best bet. And um, we'll just do a full load. We won't go too much just because that trailer is quite old. And I know we got the bed changed back in Carmston, but I still don't trust it, I'll be honest. Yeah, in fact, we'll, we'll get a couple of bales now, eh? See if we can pick up three. Make a life a bit easier. I think it's going to be two at a time, to be honest. I don't think we'll quite make the three. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think we should put too much on. Definitely not. Um, let's have a quick look at this mower as well, because I'm trying to get in my head about the mower I want from Ross. I don't want to go too big, because my tractor's about 125, but we don't want anything too small, because I want to make it a bit of a business, mowing around the, you know, around to see who's got it, who, who needs any work doing. Get you up here, mate. What are you doing? Uh, but if we get too, something too small, they're not going to take it seriously. I don't think, anyway. And then, you know, doing the job itself, even if they do, would be quite problematic. So, yeah. The bigger, the better. Come out the way, duck. Come on. Luckily, they aren't stupid. As soon as they see the tyres, they do scarper out the way. Thankfully. Thankfully. Right. Right, so, let's get this sorted, get it loaded up, and then, hopefully by that time, George will have uh, given me a bell and let me know what the plan is. I think if we just sell a full trail load, maybe a couple on top as well, that should be enough. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. I think we could fit, yeah, I'd say a couple more on top of that, and then... You know, a full row, and then maybe another few on top. Not many. But we've definitely got enough. So why not shift them? I'll keep them there, because we can use them. We'll take from here. Now, I did expect George to take the mech out of me. I really did. Keep, I am surprised, though, Keith's not here. I expected him to make sure he had his back up with him. <laughs> There we go. So we could probably fit another four on, couldn't we? And then maybe a few on top. Yeah. Easy enough, easy enough. I think that's enough. We could put an extra four on, but I don't want to take too many. Yeah, let's just stick to that. Hey up now. Two seconds, this will be George as well. Hey up, buddy, you right? Hey up, mate, hey up, right. What are you doing first? Um, well, I've got the, the hay loaded on, so that'll be first. Right, okay, two seconds. Right, I've rung around a few places, and the best place to sell is pretty much where the animal market is. Do you remember it? Yeah, I do. What's it called? Farmer's Market. I rate them. All right, and so what? Just take it up and sell, yeah? Well, yeah, obviously. What else do you expect bloody do? 
No, I was just checking if you wanted anything else, like, you know. Well, what do you mean? If you wanted me to grab anything or do anything else while I'm out. Well, well you know what? I just want you to sell bloody bales, right? Just go sell the bloody bales. And then get back and sell some salvage bales. Alright then, just tell me where to go for that then. I will do when you've done that. <laughs> I'm on my way now, George. I'm literally just leaving now. Alright then, well, let me know where when you've done it and how much it was. Don't I keep the bloody money. I'm not gonna do that. I don't want you using it fund your date night. Ooh, date night, date night. No, not listening to that. I think that's just it now, isn't it? I'm just going to get that date night, date night. Ah, oh, well. He has, in all fairness, he makes me laugh. He makes me laugh. And I'm quite nervous, and he's making me feel the opposite, you know? He's making me laugh, so... He is taking away them... A few of them butterflies I've got, so... I'll give him that. <laughs> anyway, let's make our way up there. At least we know where we're going. They must have a, an area for selling bales, I guess. We'll go ask around when we get there. There's a lot of stores that we haven't been to. Like, this one's Valley View Store. So they must do something up there. Yeah. Definitely. It's nice round here. Oh my god, look at that house. Bloody love live there. Hey, oh, there's another farm here. Home farm. Hey, I wonder who works there. Do, do they need any mowing? That's the question. I want to do some mowing. Right, I think we're at the right place. Um, I'll just go try and find somebody and ask about. I mean, this is the back side of the uh, the farmer's market. Well, someone will be knocking about somewhere. Definitely. Well, I hope so, anyway. Hello? Hey up, mate. Hey up. What's wrong? Just wanted to check how much you were said, how much you, you thought you were going to get per bale. What, the A? £60 a bale, they said. Right, well, they just give me 55 55 They're robbing buggers. Right, well, that's that, though. We ain't going back there. To be honest, George, that's not a bad price for a bale of hay. I know, but they told me £60 on the phone. Well, I didn't know what to say, so I just said I've been sent up here to sell these bales. Oh, well, it's my fault. I should have told you. All right, and well, I've got the money anyway. All right then. Well, all right then. We'll get back, load up that salvage, and I'll figure out where to go there. And this time, I'll tell you how much. All right then. No worries. All right, I'll see you in a bit. See you, mate. <laughs> so, load up the silage bales, then we can head to Ross's. And, uh, yeah, should be done then. Not too bad. But I do need to ring Beanie. I haven't actually checked in to see what time she wants to go, really, or get picked up. My plan was to pick her up and take her out and go for a, a meal and, and a few drinks. I think that would be nice. Uh, definitely we're going somewhere else. There's multiple reasons why. I can't really take her to the same place she works. And also, I've seen George and Keith hid in a bush my plot I mean to be honest I think there's a high possibility that if they find out where we're going they'll be in the they'll be watching us from a bush <laughs> I'm sure I saw George buy a ghillie suit the other day anyway Whoa, a bit bumpy but at least it's not as muddy anymore He's still here. Where you watch the truck? <laughs> I'm nowhere near it. Well, too near for my liking. Yeah, you're right then. 
Look, you're putting me off. Oh, you can't reverse, can you? Bloody hell. You think you've got this bar now? Oh, my God. Tell you what. Will you lay off, mate? I'm doing a good enough job, thank you. But <laughs> good enough job. She reversed that. I did it all right. Not too bad. I was. You put me off. <laughs> put you off. What's putting you off is your date night. Ooh, date night. Date night. Oh my god. I don't even know. This is going to be torture. Torture. I mean, I did want to ring Beanie, but I'm not going to do it while he's there. No chance. Let's do it now quickly. I want more out the way. <sighs> I am nervous, though. I am really nervous. Hello. Hi, Beanie. It's Scroft. Oh, hi, Scroft. You all right? Yeah, I'm all good. I'm all good. I'm just having a, a bit of a crazy day with George, as you can imagine. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Uh, I've just called you up just to check. You still on for later? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. What's the plan? Right, well, I was just thinking we could go for a meal and a few drinks outside of court, and I'll, uh, I'll drive and I'll pick you up from yours if you want. Yeah, that sounds really nice. Okay, well... You just let me know what time you want me to pick you up and where you want me to pick you up from. All right, I'll pop you a text message in a bit. Yeah, no problem. I'm really looking forward to it, Beanie. See you later. Me too. I'll see you later. <sighs> right, that's made me feel better. It's still on, at least, anyway. And do you know the good thing? I don't even know where we're going yet, 100%. I've got an idea... But I definitely don't know what time, so... Yeah. I'm just glad George can't get it out of me now, because even I don't know. How many of them are you taking? I don't know, how many do you want? Go! Uh, two seconds, let me have a look. Right, well, I'd take... We, we haven't got as many, have we? How many did you take of the others? Um, I took 12. 12? Oh, that's not too bad, is it? No, it shouldn't be too bad. Right, well, if you want to take... I'd take out of these... I'd take 8. You want me to take 8? Or 8 them? Right, I'll figure out while you're doing that, where you where you're taking them. No worries. I'll get loaded them up. Alright. He wants eight going. Um, probably should take. I'm just trying to think, man. They're all nicely quite stacked there, aren't they? If we just move that one bale, but I didn't really want to pierce these bales. I might have to tape them back up again. Especially this one. I mean, the ones we're selling, it's not a bigger problem. Depends what they're doing with it. Right then, George, where are we selling these at? Right. Valley View Stores. They want some silage. Best price. Hey, I know where that is. I've just driven past that. Oh, well, well, there you go then. And it's not as far. Bloody hell. There you go. Right. £69 of Balescroft. 69 I thought you might have gone a bit more than that. Seems like everyone's got silage this time of year, I guess. But, yeah, still... It is pretty old charge, isn't it? And I have to be honest with them. Yeah, that is true. That is true. All right, and I'll go drop them off. £69 a bale. All right, read them. Do you want this money now? No, just give me with the other. All right, then, bud. Watch the bloody trailer. Yes, I know. DL fire, George. Calm down. I'm good at this driving, I'm telling you now. It gives me grief, but I tell you what, I'm not too bad. I don't. He just, uh... He panics. <laughs> he, he panics a lot, let's be honest. Probably too much at his age. Just about got through there, didn't we? Right, Valley View. Here we go. Tell you what, I think these bales have got quite a bit of moisture in because they're heavy. They really are heavy. I'm feeling them on this trail and we've got less, but then again, that makes sense. Especially with hay bales being a lot lighter. Oh, no, he didn't want to drive. 
So, we're gonna have to ask someone here, aren't we? Where we're taking these bales? Come on, girl, come on. Right, that looks about right to me. I'll go ask in there. He should be able to tell me what we're doing. There we go, job done, job done. Um, don't know if we'll be able to turn coming out that way. Let's try this way. Well, yep, 69 is what we got. So, we got the exact price George wanted. So that's good news. That is a tight, tight corner. Anyway, let's get back, give George the money, and then we're going to have to hop in and uh, drive on up. I imagine I'm still going to drive. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I don't mind anyway. He does pay me after all. I honestly think this trailer's had it. I know he's put a bed on, but it is rusting away bad. Bad. What are you doing there? I'm looking at this trailer. What's wrong with it? Oi, don't flick that off. George, it's rust. I don't care, we might need that bit of rust. What are you on about? It shouldn't even be there like in the first place. Uh, no, wrong with that trailer. I had a new bed on that not long ago. I know you did, but you bought it in the state. Have you had a look under here? Oh, let me have a look. Bloody no wrong with it. Uh... Oh, bloody hell. That might fall apart soon. I told you. I don't think we should be using that, George. Especially if we put too much on. It looks like it's about snapping off. Well, well bloody hell, fire. That's more money, innit? Give me that bloody money anyway. There you go. Bloody hell, I'm going to need this money, aren't I? My stuff I've got bloody buy all the time. If it's not buying, I'm leasing. Now I need another bloody trailer. Well, I wouldn't say another one. We can keep this. We just can't... I, I just wouldn't put too much on it, that's all. No, that's what I'll get for buying some of that, bud. I like second-hand brand. You don't get me wrong, but not that bloody old. That's old, old second-hand brand new. In fact, that's eight-hand brand new. Not second-hand brand new, innit? I'd say so, George. Or, like, 20 years old second-hand brand new. Oh, uh, hey, see, we talk our own language, me and you do, but we bloody get each other. We get each other. Yeah, <laughs> we do. Anyway, you ready to go? Oh, uh, unfortunately, I am. But I want to get back, so no faffing and don't talk to him for too long. All right then, George. And I don't want to come in with you. I'm staying at the top, I am. I'm parking up, and that's it. I don't want to faffing about. George, if you want to, you can just drive home. Ah, oh, now that's a good point. And if the Leyland didn't work in... Or you can't drive it back, well, you'll have to get a taxi. <laughs> well, we've established you can't get the bus, so yeah, why not? All right then, come on. I didn't even have to ask you this time if I was driving. Well, you know the school. You may as well. I'll pay you. It just wouldn't feel right if I have to drive and I'm paying you at the same time. If I, if I see a trailer up there, I'll let you know. No, 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 no. Don't know what buy out off Ross. Why not? Because all I'm doing is giving him my money that will fund his habit to eat my bloody donuts. And I'm not having it. <laughs> right then. Bloody hell, you're supposed to share them donuts out. Listen, why don't you just think is you're supporting your local business, right? He's supporting his local business. It ain't bloody local for him. It's down road for me. I could throw a stone at that place. He can't, can he? He'd have to get... It'd take him ages to get there. Like he said before, he only went, didn't he? Because of the fact... Who was coming to drop that thing off for us that we bought? He never normally goes. And then all of a sudden, out of spite, out of bloody spite, he goes. Well, I don't know what you want me to say to that, George. The nice donuts. I know they're bloody nice, that's why I have them. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Alright then. I promise you, right, I'll be done. 
in and out. All right, then. I'm just going to drive off Scrofton on Furnace. Then at least you're honest. Oh, I am that. I agree. I am honest. He did just drive off as well. <laughs> well, let's hope I can get back. God help me if I can't get this running. And this is going to cost me a few grand. Oh, but there she is. And he's cleaned it. Oh, I've been waiting to get that Leyland back, I'm telling you now. It's going to be worth the money. Oh, hey, up, Scraft, hey. Look at it. Hey, you can't deny I haven't done a good job there. Yeah. You actually have, in all fairness, she looks good. You've bloody cleaned her off for me. You said you weren't going to do that. Oh, uh, well, I know what it's like when you like a tractor. I thought I'd do it for you, you know. Well, I appreciate that anyway, Ross. I know, bro, isn't it? Here you go, here are the keys. Oh, cheers. Right, uh, I'm just going to start her up then. Oh, <sighs> it's been so long, so long since I've driven this. Oh, Ross, you've done a massive favour for me there, I'm telling you. Well, I thought you'd like it, to be honest with you, Scroft, and, you know, you, when you're paying that kind of money for a tractor that old, you've obviously got something going on with it, so I thought I'll clean it off for you, but, yeah, she's running and purring. She is, mate, she is, I have to say. It's nice to have her back. Well, you're forgetting one thing. Let me guess, payment. Ah, payment. Right, there you go then, mate. Oh, bloody hell, fire, there we go. Ah, thank you very much, thank you very much. I shouldn't have never doubted you. No, you shouldn't have. Right, well, I'm going to let that warm up, but I want a mower. I know, ah, you've been saying about this bloody mower. Right, well, I can show you around the mowers i got and tell you how much. If you could do, Ross, that'd be great. What size mower are you looking for? Well, I've been thinking about it. And I want to do some mowing on the side and working for George, so I'm trying to make a bit of cash. Now, I don't want it to be anything too big, because obviously I've got about 125 on my other tractor. But at the same time, I don't want it to be just ridiculously small or something that we can't take seriously, because I want to try and make, you know, a bit of money from it. Well, all right, then. I think I get what you're trying to say. So, if I went for a 3 metre... I could do with a 3 metre, yeah. Maybe maybe 3, three metre, yeah. I'd say that's a good size. Well, about... Put it this way, a three metre would be too big for that Massey over there, but I don't know, maybe maybe even too big for your 285. And it's not the, the horsepower, it's the size of the thing. You know, you'd need a real good front weight. I think three metres should be fine on my case. All right, and I can show you some three metres. But they aren't cheap. All right, and just show me. Right, well, in here I've got something just shy of a three metre, but it's about there. This is a John Deere. Now, I haven't had a look at it yet. I've only just had this in, so I do need to check it over. But this is an idea of what you could buy. I mean, I do like it. It's not bad at all there, Ross. Well, it's a, it's a good mower, that is. I'm telling you, reliable they are. Right, through here, I've got a few, but they might be a bit too big on these ones. Yeah, that one there is miles too big. There's that one in the back there. Oh, I can't sell you that one. I've sold it. All right, then. Well, what are you showing me now? Well, this is the one that I think you'd like. Hey, I tell you what, that ain't bad. Ah, that's all done and ready. These are good clean. I told you before I don't do the cleaning. I only did it because I know you like that tractor. So this is about three metre? Ah, just shy. All right, then. And definitely works. Of course it bloody works. What are you trying to say? How much are you going to ask for this? I mean, it's second hand, you know. You remember that? It is second hand. It's been used. I can't really see the blades. Let me just have a quick look. I mean, I'm going to buy... I'm going to need to buy some blades for that, Ross. Some of them are rate blunt. Well, that's not my problem. I don't sell the blades, do I? I sell the mower. Yeah, I know, but I want it working. So I've got to go spend some money and get them blades. All right, then. All right, then. Bloody hell, you're worse than George. You are.
<laughs> maybe I've learnt from him. Oh, bloody hell, don't I get like him? Right, how much are you going to want for this? Right, I want 4,000. 4,000. 4,000. Uh, I can't really afford that, mate, I'll be honest with you. I want it, though. I do want it. Would you do it for three and a half? Uh, it depends. When, when are you going to pay that? I'll pay for it when I pick it up. I won't, I won't have it before, like. All right, and I'll do it for three and a half, but you can only take it when you've paid for it. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Right, let me do a few more jobs, because I'm close to that, after I've just spent that on the Leyland. I am close to that, so just save it for me. I promise you I'll pick it up. Well, all right, then I will. I will, even if someone offers more, I'll do that. Right, shake on it, then. Nice one. Three and a half, I'll buy it off you. Well, there we go. It's been a good day, eh? Yeah, I think it has. I think it has. Right, well... Enjoy the Leyland. Yeah, I will do. Cheers for that. Appreciate it. If I have any more problems, I'll uh, I'll let you know with stuff like that. Ah, please do. Please do. Hey, and also spread the word. If you need anything fixing, take it to Ross. Will do, mate. Will do. See you in a bit, Ross. All right, mate. Ho, ho. I think that's a good mower, that is. Three and a half grand. Can't afford it just yet, but... I have got very... I'm, I'm, I am close to that. I am close to that. I think that'll be good. Do the job, that would. It's a decent mower. It's not too old. Yeah, definitely. It's a good choice. Right, well, I'm done for the day. I don't need to go do anything else, is it, uh, George's? So I'm going to head back and, uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, we'll uh, get ready, I guess. Whoa, I forgot how bad this turns compared to the other tractor. That's going to take some use, getting used to again. But the main thing is, I'm back in it. Back in the Leyland. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, we're going to be using the case or anything, but it's nice to have it back up and running on the farm. And especially my farm. It would start raining, wouldn't it? No. Oh, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we aren't going to be outside much. But no, I'm all ready. I've been back home, showered, put on my best clothes, ready to obviously head down to Beanie. Now, I do need to go and drop this Leyland off and pick up my uh, my truck because I'm not going to go and pick her up in a tractor. That <laughs> would just be a bit too much. In fact, that's something George would do. I'm not going to do that. So we're going to have to leave the Leyland at the at George's farm. She wants me to pick her up at 7. We are close to that. And then... And I've got a good idea here where I'm going, so... I will use Google Maps, obviously. Go, job done. Let's go quickly speak to George. Hey, right, George. What the hell? What are you doing here? She stood you up already. No, no. The hell, mate? Is that what you honestly think of me? No, bloody hell, fire lucky. You. You look pretty good. I'll give you that. Nice jeans, mate. Nice jeans. Hey, bloody hell, they new shoes. Oh, they look nice. Oh, I have to say, though, what the hell, how much aftershave you got on? Oh, I can smell it from here. <laughs> it's not that bad, George. Oh, it's a bit too much, that's all. If I was going on a date with you, I'd tell you to it down a bit. <laughs> all right, then. Thanks, George. Thanks. Anyway, I just dropped the Leyland off because I needed my truck. All right, then. It'll be safe there. Hey, good luck tonight. Yeah? And if you need me, give me a bell. Well, I appreciate that, George, a lot, but... I hope I don't need to call you, put it that way. All right, anyway, have fun, mate. Will do. See you in a bit. Yep. Yeah. Right. Get in the truck and out this rain. Right. I am a bit nervous. I don't know why, though. Isn't it weird how these things in life just 
It'll make you nervous. It really is. I am also excited. It should be a good night. Nice to get out, a few drinks, and also a nice meal. I already know what I'm having. That's a steak. Every time. Can't go wrong with a steak. Steak and a beer. Right, it should be here. Yeah, there we go. White Cross Lane. That's where we need to go. I've actually been up here before. Hey, oh, some sail there. Is that a field? Looks like a field and a couple of sheds. Oh, I tell you what, that looks pretty promising. God, if only I could afford something like that. We could use that grass, mow it up, sell it on. That'd be perfect, that would. Right, it says I'm at my destination on the left now. shelter. Hi, you okay? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. It's nice to see you. Come on in, get out the rain. Nice to see you too, Beanie. Thanks for that. Good night. 